Welcome everyone to Panther Gymnasiums for the finale of the matchups tonight. It is the senior boys of Arkadelphia here at Panther Gymnasium. Town Magnet Co. Panthers. It ought to be a good one. And it looks like starting here for the Badgers is, is Roberts here. It's a sophomore. It's also going to be junior Seth Golden here to, to start here. No, ski. Yeah, number three. It ought to be a good matchup here tonight. Arkadelphia is without their football players. It is Magnet's first game with their football players. Arkadelphia is still in the Class 4A state playoffs here. And I talked to the coach before the game. Arkadelphia doesn't have a lot of depth, but they've got some talent here, Aiden. They do. And it looks like we have um, – we got one – we got two seniors here starting for Arkadelphia in Lambert and Gray there. So and, – and they've got another senior on the bench in Marquise Williams, uh, number 23. He is not starting but is on the bench ready to play whenever needed. And, and the Panthers have got some experience back with the football players. We've got Kaiser, who is a senior. We've got Baker, who is a senior. Kevin. Kevin's a senior, and Carson's a senior. So we've got four seniors and one sophomore, and, and that sophomore being Bo Bachelor. How would you evaluate Bo's talent as a sophomore starting on a squad that, that is starting four other seniors? Uh, he started last year, especially in the state championship, too. Yeah, as a freshman, man, and, and he is just – He is really good. Jumped he a whole nother height. He went to a camp – was supposed to be in California this summer, got but got moved to Texas. This man has been all over the country playing basketball. Even last year, he had to take a trip to Indianapolis over the weekend to play some basketball. And this kid has got uh, great fundamentals of basketball. But uh, I'll be curious to see how this Badger defense uh, de defends the Panther, the Panthers here. And you wonder what Magnus going to run they're running, uh, with two big men and Kaiser yeah. Kidder and Aiden Baker. Kaiser gets a tip there over Lambert, and Inslee's going to set up this Panther offense. Looks like we've got some man covers to start out just like the girls started out. High tempo inside to Baker. Baker up and in, and that is A.J. Lambert there, the senior. Baker's able to work on and get some early points off of. Wide open three, high arcing, no good. Shot there by Chris Gray. And we've got some aggressive offense here. And some more active hands. And almost a backcourt violation, but it's tipped. Bo is open there on the cut. And we have got it. It's going to be Arkadelphia ball there. And that is Kaiser's first foul. And it looks like the Badgers want to push the ball just a hair, just like the girls did. And, and their defense started out as a man-to-man, -man, just like the girls. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if they'll switch in half like the girls did. But. And Gray takes another three, and that one rattles in there. The senior from the right elbow is one for two here early in this game. Bachelor going to bring it up the floor, wanting to run. Inside kicks it over Reynolds. Reynolds, corner three, and just off the mark. Baker gets it up, and ah, just off the front of the iron. But he's going to go to the line here for two shots. Baker's a really good shooter uh, inside. He's also a really good shooter uh, from beyond the three-point line as well. Um, Magnet has got some really good shooters, and Carson. Carson Reynolds is a really good shooter. Kevin. Yeah, um, it would have been nice if he was able to convert that three there, but uh, Baker's going to the charity stripe here for an early set. And the first one's up and good, and really that, that ties the ball game here, and free throws have either made or, or break the Panthers here. They, they did fall to Maumelle Charter by three last week, last Thursday, and the second one is up and good, and it's going to be A.J. Lambert to inbound the ball here. They're wanting to push it up the floor. Looks like he's going to kick it out. Number three, number one's going to take another three. No good. And number one, Chris Gray has been their only offensive production here, going one for three from the three-point line. Ball 
definitely some man-to-man coverage here. We've got Lambert on Baker down low. That's what I'm watching. Oh, and Lambert wins that one as he tips it away there. That's going to be something to watch. Kaiser goes up. And it looks like they're going to call the foul on him there. It looks like he went straight up, but they will call the foul there. James draws the foul there. Um, he, this is first uh, shot of the night. So. Yeah, that's the number three, James Elgis. Three for Bo on the other end, no good. Rebound by the senior number one, Chris Gray, as they're looking to push the ball there. James gonna pull up the jumper from the free throw line, no good. And now they're applying a little press. Reynolds gets past the press, thought about pulling the three. Baker goes up and lays it in with the left hand. Such a crafty move there by the big man down low to convert and get the lead back to the Panthers. A three ball on the corner there by Roberts, and that is going to be no good, and the Panthers come back down here on the offensive end. You can see Magnet down there has got some real height. Yes, but athleticism, as you saw. Uh, Kaiser is really athletic. Bo Bachelor. Yeah. Um, but the man defense down here on Baker and Lambert, I saw Lambert able to go up and get that one and, and then not be able to get the ball to Baker down low. So that's going to be a matchup to watch all night. Yeah, but Baker's 6'8", 250. Uh, but Lambert can jump. Lambert can jump. So they're going to kick it out, looking to drive here, going to do the crossover, and they call another foul. That's number two, Seth Golden, the junior that draws the foul here for the Badgers. And his first shot is up and is good, and it ties the ball game at six with 5.15 left to go in this first quarter. And it, the second shot is no good, but they get the offensive rebound. Gray takes another three. Oh, the tip in by Elgis is almost good, but just rattles in and out. Good screen there by Baker. Bo's looking to drive, kicks it to Reynolds. Reynolds going to try to set up this offense here with Inslee at the top of the key. Prine a little press. Looks like Edwards has checked in here. Kidder has ch checked out. Looking inside to Baker. Size advantage. Baker goes up and in. And the Panthers are going to have to pound the paint here to win this game here tonight at Panthers Gymnasium with the size advantage at 6'8". Down low, the senior, Caden Baker. Yeah, when you have that size advantage, you really just use it. Um, yeah, and a, a three on the other end by Elgus, and it is no good here. Reynolds gets the rebound. Yeah, he, he had to play a lot without the football boys, and he has stepped up into that role, and they're going to feed it down low again. Baker goes up and in again, and my man Caden Baker is scoring some points here early for the Panthers. He's just scoring forward. at will. Right now. Yeah, they definitely have that size advantage, and they're getting the feed into him, and that is really how he's getting those post plays elevated. It's really what they, all they have to use uh, when you have a size advantage. Oh, and he gets a block. He just blocked Chris Gray. That and size and height really helps. Yes. Edwards is going to push it up. Baker, he's going to take a top of the key three. And it rattles in. And Caden Baker is doing it all tonight in the paint from the top of the key. Panthers up seven. And... They're going to call a jump ball, and that's going to be Arkadelphia basketball. But what about Caden Baker early in this first half? Like I said earlier, he he's one of the better shooters on this team. Right there you saw the three uh, rattle in. Um, you, know, you normally don't see your big man take shots like yeah. that. Yeah, looks like Lambert's going to check out, and number 23, Marquise Williams, the senior, is going to check back in. More experience checking in for the Badgers. And Baker checks out for Kaiser Kidder. Yeah, get that man a rest. He deserves it. Pull up by number three. Elgas is no good. They've got Edwards on the other end, and the shot doesn't fall. But Kaiser gets it, goes up and in, and the Panthers have extended this lead, and the Panthers have got to keep their foot on the gas here at Panther Gymnasium to keep this lead held against this potent Badger offense. You know, uh, I remember seeing the same score earlier. 
uh, with the junior girls. It was a really similar score. And a three there the from. Senior girl, sorry, I'm bad. El guess is no good. They're gonna push it up the floor to Edwards. Edwards looking for somewhere to go. Gets it over to Reynolds, trying to find something inside. Trying to get it to Kidder, the big man inside right now. Edwards, 16 on the shot clock and counting. 12. Baker, excuse me, Bachelor looking to drive, and he's going to draw the foul there. He Powerful drive down on the baseline by the sophomore, Bo Bachelor. And it looks like we've got a two big man set coming in here as Reynolds checks out and Baker checks back in. The top scorer is right now is Baker for the Panthers. Inbounded to Edwards on the baseline. Loses the handle on the ball but gains it back. And Ensley almost <laughs> lost it right there at the top of the key but regains it. Inside to Baker. Baker and Chris Gray got that one and they're going to hurl it up the court to Roberts. James looking up and in. That's Elgas there on the tip in from the right-hand side there to stop the bleeding for the Badgers. And another turnover. Gray looking to drive coast to coast. He goes up, and what a beautiful shot. That's impressive. The reverse layup under the basket is tough. You really hope uh, the senior boys don't do what the senior girls did and just turn the ball over Yeah, 20 times. the senior girls had a lot of turnovers, and we don't, don't want the senior boys to start this because his Arkadelphia team – could take advantage of that. Going to kick it inside to Baker, and it's stolen away again there. Roberts, the sophomore, comes out of there with it. Going to drive, goes up and in, and gets the chance for a three-point play. And it looks like number 20, Isaac Williams, another sophomore, is going to check in. And number two, Seth Golden, the junior, is going to check out. And, and the Badgers have really rebounded there. Caden early had a lot of points and was yeah, able just to. Yeah, we're just not, they're just not feeding him the ball in the correct yeah, times. They're he's got to get down the floor right here. They're just trying to force it to Baker. Oh, Baker yeah. wants the ball. He's looking. He's looking. Trying to get the ball, top of the key. And he gets it inside. He's going to go up and in. Caden Baker strikes once more. That feed down low to the right-hand side has been killer for the Panthers early in the first half. He's just going up and jumping for the ball like a receiver. Man, it's just tough. And it looks like screen. Elgas is going to get a screen there by Gray. He's looking to drive, going to kick it out. And the three rattles in by number 20, the sophomore, Isaac. Excuse me, not Isaac. Isaac Williams. Ensley's looking to drive, going to get some moves here. Baker's going to kick it around. Looking to get inside. Screen there by Baker. And they're going to get it inside, and the ball's going to be stolen there. And we have got Williams was uh, – excuse me, not Williams. Yeah, excuse me. Isaac Williams. The, Number 20, the sophomore, there was trying to drive the ball up, and Edwards fouled him, and that's the second foul on Edwards. And it looks like Kaiser and Reynolds are going to check out. and Anthony Velasquez and Bo Batchelor are going to check back in. And that's two sophomores on the court right now with three seniors. So let's see what, uh, as they call him at school, Tony can, can do with this defense here. Or as Coach Carmichael calls him a football golden leg, Yes, he is the kicker for the football team as well. The man can run and the man can kick. There's about a two-second differential between the shot clock and the play clock here to end the first. Looks like Elgas is just going to try to go up and in and get it in. And the Panthers have got to do something here as this first quarter comes to an end. And a deep three. Oh, and just off the mark there. That was from the logo here and. It's the end of the first quarter here, and the Badgers have a one-point lead. But let's see how this second quarter happens. But uh, we're going to take a quick break here for the quarter break, and we'll be right back with more Panther basketball from Panther Gymnasium.
everyone back here to Panther Gymnasium to the start of the second quarter. And the Panthers only down one, but it's amazing offensive production by Caden Baker. Uh, truly. Um, Baker has just had a fantastic first quarter, especially at the start. They were just feeding him. Uh, but later in the game, they just started forcing him the ball and then started turnovers. They need to feed him the ball when he's decently open and can get the and can get the rebound. Yana missed the opportunity there as a shot doesn't fall for the Panthers. A three ball, no good. And we have got a foul. That was Isaac Williams there on the three ball attempt. No good. And it's going to be Tony to inbound it on the baseline. It looks like RDL is going to bring a full court press. And the Panthers have got to get it past half court right here. Bo's going to bring it up to the sideline here, looking for somewhere to go. Ball fake it to Inslee. Baker, and that, there's a scuffle for the ball, and the Bo Basser comes out of there with it in the backcourt. Bringing it up, screen there by Inslee on the elbow. Basser goes up, shot doesn't fall. Got to get that one to fall, and the Panthers have got to get back on defense. Three on five down there, shoots. And a three ball, no good there by number two. That is going to be Seth Golden, number two. The junior could not get the three ball to fall, but we've got a foul, and that's going to be a foul on number 23, the senior Marquise Williams. And the Panthers inbound it all the way up, almost a half court there to Reynolds. And the Panthers zone in right here. Get past the press. Tony inside to Baker. Baker up and in. And they called the charge. You can tell Baker's not happy with that call. Norris, Coach Will. I don't know what you do in that situation. It was, I don't, number two down there, Seth Golden, is so much smaller than, than Baker. But, uh. That's what the ref called, and I'm not here to argue. I'm here to commentate and give you all some great commentary. So that's Baker's first personal. And Badgers look to drive there. The feed to number two, Seth Golden, the junior, comes out of there with the basket and a three-point lead for the Badgers. Reynolds pump fake. Yeah, and another turnover there by Baker. And they're trying to get back on defense. Ooh. A behind the look pass. That was a very. That was beautiful. I know we didn't get a bucket off, but we got a foul off it, but what a pass. I didn't even see what that was. They were going so fast. But uh, Gold's going to go to the line here for two shots here for the Badgers of Arkadelphia. Just a really good dish and pass. They just, he just dished that off and went up with it, and Golden's first attempt from the line is good. When you can make passes like that, you wonder. Yeah, that, you don't see stuff like that in high school. Um, but Baker's going to check out, and looks like Kidder's going to check back in, and he makes the second one, and that's going to extend the lead to five for the Badgers of Arkadelphia. Ansley thought about the three, going to drive. Hook shot in, inside to Kidder. Kidder up and shot just off the front of the iron there, but, but draws the foul. Kaiser's going to go to the line here. His first shot is up and off the back of the iron. See what he can do here with this second shot. And that second shot is good and that gets the lead to four here for the Badgers. It's gonna be James to bring it down the floor here. And a three by Gray, no good. Bo almost had the rebound, but it willed and dealed out of his hands, and it's going to keep Badger basketball.
James is going to inbound it here to Gray. Senior looking for something, gets it over to Golden. Golden for three, no good. Kaiser comes out of there with it, and they're going to push it up the floor with Hensley. They're going to get it up to Tony. Tony, Tony, up and ah, just off the mark. He wishes he had that one back and does a flip on the court to get back up, and he is sprinting out down the court. They're going to go up. Shot no good. Kaiser has another rebound there. That's two. But Arkadelphia is in the bonus here because Magnet has committed 17 fouls. Going to kick it over to Bassler. Bassler thought about the three. Going to drive. Going to go up and gets the foul call but cannot get the shot to fall there. And that's going to be a foul on number 12. Roberts there, the sophomore, commits his second personal foul of the game and the sixth foul against Arkadelphia. So one more foul, and Magnus in the bonus here. Bachelor's first shot is up and no good, man. We have got to convert on these free throws here. I mean, you really just want to convert on free throws. Uh, you hate not to because they're just free points. It's free points, and he misses the second one too. Bachelor goes 0 for 2 there from the line. You especially don't want to miss them when you're down. Yeah, four. most definitely. Gray's going to drive. Ball's tipped by Kaiser. Yeah, gonna it's kind of hard to shoot over Kaiser. Yeah. Such an athletic player. He just El Gas is going to run the offense here for the Badgers. Going to drive, going to kick it back out. And that is number 12, the sophomore, Robert, with the baseline three. And the Badgers have really started to, to have active hands defense, and they get a steal, and it's up and lays it in. Roberts and Coach Will wants a timeout here as the Badgers are up nine here at Panther Gymnasium with 421 left till half. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball from Panther Gymnasium. And we welcome everyone back here on the broadcast to Panther Gymnasium here with 421 left to go here in the second quarter. And this could be a crucial four and a half minutes here. Tony trying to inbound it to not get the shot clock violation and turns it over there. Golden, the junior there, and the three is no good. And, and Tony comes, almost comes out of there with it. That's going to be off of Elgis, the sophomore there. And that's going to be Panther basketball at half court. I don't know, Lambert to uh, Roberts. That was a pretty good pass right there down at the block. Yeah, most definitely. Arkadelphia has been able to execute off of those good passes and convert them into points here early. Inside to Baker. Got to get him the ball. And they called that a foul. Most definitely a good call right there. And that is going to be on number 12, Roberts here. And the sophomore has committed his third personal, and that puts Magna the bonus, and Baker goes to the charity stripe. First shot is up and is off the back iron, man. Got to convert. You know Baker's not happy with missing that one. You can tell in his body language he did not want to miss that first one. Yeah, visible frustration. Second one is up and is also no good. And Magnet. Tips it around, and, and the Badgers touch it last, and Magnet will come out of there with it. And they're going to inbound it to Baker. And they're going to spot it back up to Baker, and Baker's going to lose the handle. He's going to go up and get the foul call, and he really wants that shot to fall there when he gets that foul call. But... Going to go back to the charity stripe here for Baker and see if he can't. He's got to convert these right here. Yeah, that's Lambert's second foul right there. And 
and it's going to be number 23. That looks to be Marquise Williams. I'm 99% sure. Yes, that is Marquise Williams, the senior checking in here. And number 10, Javon Gar. No, excuse me, that's not number 10. That's number 20. Excuse me there, guys. Couldn't see the numbers from up here. That's Isaac Williams, number 20, is going to check in. And Gray is going to hand it off to Elgas to bring it up the court. Going to kick it over. They're really trying to work that offense to find something. Three ball, corner, no good. That shot was taken there by Roberts, the sophomore. Going to push it up the floor to Kaiser, and it's tipped away there, and here comes the Badger offense. Another three attempt by Roberts, and that one rattles in. Panthers down 10 now here at Panther Gymnasium. Got to find some offense. Hurls it up the court to Tony. Yeah, Inside to Kidder. Arkin Duffy from the three-point line has been really good. Magnet has not been, not going to say the same, though. Baker's going to take another three, and that one doesn't rattle in like the first one did. Baker's one for two from the three-point line. Going to get it inside, and that one lays it in. Number 23, the senior, Marquise Williams. A lot of it. Oh, excuse me, Marquise Williams. Excuse me about that, guys. Going to kick it over, trying to get it inside to Baker. Fighting for position over Williams. A lot of contact down there. Going to go up. Shot no good. Elgis going to bring it down the court, looking to push here for the Badgers. And he gets behind the defense and scores. And now the Panthers are down 14 here. And they are just slowing down so methodically. And Arkadelphia is keeping the tempo up here at Panther Gymnasium. James has been a really good weapon for this Arkadelphia Badgers uh, offense tonight. And Baker is rejected, and he wanted the foul call there. And then they're going to call the foul on the other end there. What a transition there, and that's going to be that's going to be a foul on Kidder, and that's his third personal. Yeah, Baker's arguing with the ref down there. He definitely did not like that whatsoever. There has been a lot of contact down there in the paint between Williams and Baker, but you're going to have that when you have a 6'8 guy. Two centers are going to have to fight for the for rebounds. And Kaiser comes out there with him. He yanked that ball out of that dude's hand. He made that look easy. Yeah. Dishes out to Baker. Doesn't want to take that three. Oh, he does. And it's good. And Baker's like, oh, he just flashed the three, and that was awesome right there. Baker's like, you're going to leave me open. I may be a center, but I'll take a three. And a three on the other end by Roberts. No good. Put back. No good. And Gray gets it, and Baker comes out of there with the rebound. Dishes it to Reynolds. Trying to slow this game down just a little bit here for the Panthers. And Baker. Thought about the three, going to kick it over to Reynolds. Bachelor in the corner on the baseline. He's going to take a corner three. No good. Elgas comes out of the – oh, what a pass. And Golden shot, no good. Tony gets the rebound, and they feed it with 55 and turning left to go in this half. Going to get inside. Kidder, he had James on him. Elgas, pull up. Shot good from Kaiser from the baseline there. I love to see that baseline jumper go in. I think that's Kaiser's first points of the game right there. Um, this is only jump shot too. Yeah, he really likes that jump shot. He liked it last year. He worked on it all offseason and trying to make it better this year. And Badger offense looking to use some clock here. We've got Elgas on Bachelor. See what they can do here. Elgas looking to drive, going to spin move up and in. What a move there by. James is on fire tonight. Oh. Yeah, he really is. He's making some tough shots. And that is a foul, but that's going to be on the floor, so the shot does not count there. And they, they get the call there. And let's see who that one's on. I think it's going to be on number 20. 
That is Isaac Williams, the sophomore from Arkadelphia, getting the foul call there. And number two, Seth Golden, the junior, is going to check back in here for the Badgers. It looks like Birdman Talent Cook is going to check in here for the Panthers, and Kaiser's going to check out here with point. 1.8 seconds left. Bachelor's first. Second shot is up and no good. And James does not like he didn't get the foul call on the heave from our paint, basically a full court heave. He did not like that whatsoever. And so it's halftime here at Panther Gymnasium. Panthers down 13. And we will take a halftime break here on the Matacove High School East YouTube page. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball after this break. If you're looking for a hidden gem while traveling down Arkansas Highway 51, then Panther Pass Grocery and Gas is your one-stop destination. The Panther Pass is more than just your typical local grocery and gas station. It is also has a full cafe menu with delicious mouth-watering food that will satisfy any type of appetite. The Panther Pass is also a proud supporter of the Manic Cove School District and a community partner with the Manic Cove High School East. The Panther Pass is located at 2214 Highway 51, Magnet Cove, Arkansas.
Magnet Cove Panthers as they trail here to start the second half. And the Badgers have the ball here. We'll have to see how they come out here in the second half and, and really contain this, this Arkadelphia offense as they set it up here with James Elgaz, really the, the main producer here in the court general. A three ball, an air ball, no good. Shot no good. Baker comes out of there with it. He's like, that's mine, and I'm taking it. And we are pushing the ball down the court here for the Panthers. Baker looking to kick it around here, trying to get a cut down low. He's calling for the ball. Bachelor going to drive right-hand side. The Badgers have really been able to push this offense out and keep them out of the paint. Kaiser. Trying to look inside, Bassler, Bassler, inside, ball, batted away there. Tipped out by number two, uh, Seth Golden, the junior. Yeah, he has really had a good defensive performance here. To be fair, really everyone has, uh, but Elvis mainly carried the offense. Yeah, most definitely, and Bassler's going to inbound it. Reynolds for three, corner, no good. And they heave it down the court to Golden, and he goes up and in. And that's really what Arkadelphia has been able to do is, is really just pound the pound the glass here and then get some threes to fall here. I don't know. If, if a football player saw that, you'd think they were uh, doing a Hail Mary real quick. Yeah. Most definitely there, Aiden. Panthers trying to set up the offense through Inslee. Kaiser inside the Baker and number zero. A.J. Lambert, the senior, tips it away. And it looks like Edwards is going to inbound it all the way to Kaiser across the court. And Kaiser's height. Let him come down over that one. Shot no good there by Inslee. And it is going to be a foul here on the floor. And that's going to be A.J. Lambert's third personal foul and the first team foul of the second half here for the Badgers of Arkadelphia. And Lambert's confused, and so is Baker for that matter. Baker's talking to him like, man, I don't know how it feels. Getting those bad calls. Yeah, that's the refs aren't making the greatest calls, but that's not yeah. my decision. Yeah, that's that's not our place to judge, and because we're up here commentating, they're down there on the floor. We see things different up here than they see up down there. So uh, Inslee's going to go and try to make this second one, and he does make the second one. And here comes James Elgas in the Badger offense. He has really run this offense tonight. He's going to drive and he's going to go up. And the foul is on the floor. And he thought it was a shooting foul because he made the shot and he thought he could be able to go to a three-point play, but that's going to be on the floor. And he's going to inbound the ball here. Looking to inbound it. Gets it kicked back over to himself there on the baseline. He's going to set this offense back up. Going to see if he can't do anything here. And really? he's going to be called number one. Chris Gray there is going to be called for the traveling violation there. It was a really wide screen from Chris Gray right there. And Inslee going to try to bring it up the backcourt defense by the junior of Golden in there. Going to kick it up to Talon. Talon looking to get it. Inside to Baker. Baker going to kick it across to Inslee. Inslee for three. And just off the mark there. Rebound by Roberts, the sophomore, kicking it up. And the shot is no good there. But the putback is also no good. And the Badgers have missed two. And the floater is good there by the senior, number one, Chris Gray, here to extend the lead here at Panther Gymnasium. And this is a non-conference game. Arkadelphia is 4A and Magnet is 2A in basketball, only 3A in football. But Baker's going to go up, and he gets the basket, but no call there, and he's going to retreat back down to his post and defend it here against the Badgers. And 
the Panthers have still got a chance in this game, but they have to get something going right here. A three ball from Gray. No good. Got to get that offensive rebound. And a shot no good. Rebound by Baker. He comes down with it. Ensley looking to push up the front court. The Baker, he's like not going to take that one. He doesn't really know where to go with that one at the top of the key. It's one for three from third. Excuse me, two for three. He's going to get it inside to Baker. Going to kick it back to Cook. Cook up and in. Birdman, two points. Yes, that is Birdman known around Magnet. And he gets the two-pointer to fall there. And the Panthers draw within 12 with four minutes left to go and ticking in the third. What a beautiful jump shot by Elgas, the sophomore there, to get that one to fall. He tried to get the crowd to get hyped. Doing the hand gesture. Inside, going to look to drive, going to kick it, and that is going to be a foul. And see if Ensley can go to the line and convert here. That could be big for the Panthers, drawing them back within 12 after that L gas jump shot. And the first shot is off of the front of the iron. Looks like Tony and Kidder are going to check back in, and Cook and Reynolds are going to check out, and it looks like also number 20, the sophomore Williams, is going to check in here for the Badgers. A.J. Lambert coming out of the game. He hasn't had the worst game. He's had a pretty good defense, decent no. performance. And Ensley misses both of those shots. They're going to kick it up the floor, and that's going to be out on Tony there, number 23, Williams, the senior, going for it there, but uh, just couldn't raggle it in there, and it's going to be Elgas the sophomore to inbound it. Three ball from Gray, baseline, no good. And Williams goes up there on the put back and, and gets the end one call there, and that's going to be a foul on Tony there, his first personal foul of the game. His first shot is up and no good. And Kaiser and number one, both seniors, two of the seniors went up for it and could not get it. And that's going to be out on Gray. And Panthers basketball here with 3.40 left to go in the third. Panthers down 16. Need some offensive production right here. But like I said earlier, Arkadelphia is a much bigger school than Magnet. Um, not, yeah, but they, not, don't ha they don't have a lot of players right now because most of them are in football. Yes, and Arkansas has got a loaded football team. Baker up and in, and finally gets the three-point call, and the crowd loves it. Baker deserves that when he has went up so many times tonight and finally gets the call in the basket to go in. Baker is trying to. And he gets the three-point play and draws the Panthers within 13. Yeah, he's fighting back. He, he does not want to lose this game. I know I wouldn't. Most definitely it's going to be Elgas to stop to bring it down, and they have got to stop that inside. Nice move. Kicks it over. The three and good by Roberts. He has killed it from the baseline threes. Those corner threes are really killing Magnet, letting him shoot them. Yeah, he's going to get it up the floor to Tony. Tony looking to drive, kicks it inside to Kidder. Kidder up. Ah, got to make that one. Elgas comes out of there, bringing it down the court. Pretty fast pace here. And he is doing something to keep Kaiser off of him. And another three by Roberts. He's got to do something to stop him from shooting threes. He is killing this Panther defense right here with his threes. Going to get it up the floor to Tony. Tony looking to drive, kicks it. Top of the key to Ensley. Ensley looking to drive. That kick there to Edwards, really nice kick. Edwards looking to drive, step over, no good. Rebound by Gray. They get it up the floor to Williams. Williams up and in and extends the lead. We've got a hurt Arkadelphia player here, but Coach Will wants a timeout too, and the senior Mark. Marquez Williams. Yes, it's limping in the sideline, and that's not what you want to see. Oh, he may have rolled his ankle. 
That's a very common injury. Yeah, even as a, as a magnet, that's not what you want to see from from an opponent because that's never the point of the game. Is they just want to play a good, hard fought game. And with 206 left to go in the third, we'll take a quick break here on the Matico High School East YouTube page. We'll be right back with more Pat. Panther basketball from Panther Gymnasium. And we welcome everyone back to Panther Gymnasium here with 206 left to go in the third. Uh, Badgers up big here at Panther Gymnasium, just like they were up in the girls' game. And let's see if the Panthers have any gas left to take for the winding moments of this third quarter and the entire fourth quarter. Baker gets it, kicks it over. Inside, Baker looking. Well, and a foul, and gets the basket. And Baker is starting to do work down low. He doesn't want to lose this game. And that is a foul on Roberts, his fourth personal. And that could be big for the Badgers. He has had a main source of offense there from the corner threes. And that really could hurt that Badger offense. Baker, and he converts the three-point play. And the, the Badger offense looking to get something going here up 18. Let's see if the Panther defense can hold it right here. El Gas looking to drive, jump shot. And shot's no good, Reynolds comes out of there. That's a good stop there for the Panther defense. It looks like number 30, Bailey Stacks, the sophomore, is gonna check in here for the Badgers. And that's gonna be out of bounds there. El Gas wanted that still, but that's gonna be out of bounds on the sideline. And Tony, is going to be the inbounds man here for. Kicks it all the way over to Reynolds. Elgas here at the top of the key for the defense for the Badgers. I see stacks over there on the other sideline. Yeah. Kaiser up and in. Beautiful feed there by the Panthers to get him to the right block and get him the ball. And the Panthers draw within 16. And there's still fight left in these Panthers. Got to have some points here. Kicks it over. Three ball and good. Got to stop that three ball. It is killing this Panther defense in the whining moments of the third quarter. 42 le seconds left and counting down. 25 and the, on the shot clock. And with that three, Arkadelphia is now 46% from three-point land, which is really impressive. Kaiser gets it on the baseline, kicks it back over to Tony. Tony for three and just off the mark. Fight for the ball, and somebody put it up in. Couldn't Carson tell who Reynolds. it was. Carson Reynolds with the lay-in. Yeah, and that puts the Panthers only down 17 here. Got to find some offensive production. They found that. Got to find the defense here to defend the three ball. The feed from Stacks to Williams was killer. Gray, shot, no good. Stacks thought he came out of there with it, and he did not. But uh, going in the fourth quarter, down 17, what do you do if you're Coach Will here, Aiden? Um you, you got to lock down our defense. Uh, they're just letting them shoot threes willingly. 7 of 15 right now with 46% from the three-point. And that is great if you're a high school team, 7 for 15. The Panthers have got to do something to stop that, and they've got to find more offensive production. We'll take a quick break here at quarter on the Manico High School East YouTube page. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball from Panther Gymnasium.
Up 17 here going in the fourth. Panthers have got to find some defense here to win this one. Truly. Um, you hate when you're down 17 going into the fourth quarter because you already feel like you probably end up going to lose, but you don't want to give up. Because if you write yourself off, you're not going to have a good season. Toward, even at the beginning. This Magnet really wants to come back off a of winning, off losing to Monmouth Charter down off by three. They did not play very well yeah. against Monmouth Charter. And Baker goes up and in there. He had El Gas and just kind of pushed him out the way there. And a traveling violation on James El Gas. Actually, I think that's a charge. Not sure. He, he saw Baker do it and he thought, you know, maybe I can get away with it. I don't know. Baker's wasn't a charge though. Baker kind of just went straight up with it and he just um, flopped. Yeah, I think they did call that a travel, though, on El Gas. I'm not sure, though. Tony, corner three. No good. And El Gas comes out of there with it. Wanted to heave, heave it down the court. Looking to press it up the floor here. Driving. Tony goes up and blocks him. But they call the foul. Not my place to judge. Not going to judge. I don't know what the foul was. They called it on Anthony. I mean, the block wasn't. The block was clean. It was all ball. Yes, and you, and you can tell how about, how about how the ball rolls. But Elgas' first shot is up and good. His second shot is up and is also good. And Kaiser's going to inbound the ball here for the Panthers. Gets it up to Baker. Badgers kind of setting in a half-court press here. It's just hot potato right now for the Panthers. Trying to find something open that the Badgers make a mistake on. Badgers have not made many mistakes tonight. And there's another mistake by the Panthers. The Panthers... Have had lots of turnovers, and that's – I don't know if it's the kind of defense the Badgers really run um, or if I don't know if it's, it's just something. knowing that Arkadelphia is a bigger school or something, but they don't have much confidence in their, in their own play. They've turned the ball over so many times tonight. And Baker knows that one's a foul. <laughs> and – Baker is explaining to the ref that that was a flop, and I love the acting. The acting by Baker down there. It's hilarious. Man deserves an Oscar. Elgis, his trip to the line, converts the three-point play, and he just seems like he's got all the confidence in the world and has right to have confidence, but... Uh, Man, Tony, you're wide open. Why don't you just shoot it? Kaiser's going to drive up, right hand up, and good. When you get a good dish like that, I guess you don't need to. Most definitely there was a great dish and a shot there by the Panthers there. Kaiser able to finish that and get points off of it. Gray going to drive. Ball is tipped and gets his own rebound there. The Badgers are definitely more athletic than Malvern, but uh, Panthers have a size advantage in haven't really taken advantage of it all night there. And another three there. No good there by number 20. I believe that is Williams. Tony there. from three. Just No misses. good. Shot no good there. N number two, Seth Golden wanted the foul call. Going to get it up the floor to Baker, and it's going to be off of, looks to be, I'm not sure who that was off of, but it's going to be, looks like it's going to be off of Baker right there. But we'll have to see here. The Badgers bring it up the court with Lambert. Elgast. Corner three, no good. And they wanted the foul call there. The Arkadelphia bench did. Edwards going to try to drive coast to coast. 
And they are going to catch him with a traveling violation. Edwards is slow to get up there. I think he hit his head on the floor. He's grabbing his head. Definitely something you don't want to see. A scary situation with a magnet player last week at Maumel Charter, and we definitely don't need another head injury on this basketball team. Ball's tipped by Kaiser, and or, he gets it there. Or at the Newport football game, Jacob Clausen is not playing tonight because he has a concussion. Yes, he is in percu concussion protocol. We do believe he will be able to play Thursday, but uh, not tonight. And number zero, A.J. Lambert, the senior, driving in and scoring. Baker's going to go down low, and they called the travel. Not sure. I thought he had that pivot foot down, but uh, I, I, that's the far goal from our side, and I can't really see that one that well. But Coach Will does not like it. He is on the court, and he is letting the taters know. And they want a technical, and the Arkadelphia side is getting into this. And they just teed him up. Coach Matt Williamson just got teed up. First tech of the season for him. Yeah, we'll definitely have to keep a record of that there, but I I don't see the travel. I, I, do you see it? I don't. And, and I'm trying to take, take my magnet glasses off, and I, I still don't see that travel. But like I said earlier, not my place to judge. It's early in the season. These refs have not refed a lot of games. And they're going to put James L. Gass at the free throw line. So, see if he can just extend this lead with 4.51 left to go in the game. But, with everything that's pounded on, that's... Oh, and he misses the first one off the front iron, man. He has been nearly perfect all night, and he misses that one off the front iron there. His second one is good there, nothing but net. Oh, excuse me, that's only two shots in the third one. The rebounders can go back down there. No, is it only two on a 10? I believe it's only two on a 10. Okay. I get no in college it's three. In college it's three. Okay, sorry there guys. I got my high school, my college confused. I was watching the Razorback game the other night. Uh and El Gas is gonna try to be trapped there by Reynolds and Inslee, but just couldn't get it. He got passed out when he's gonna drive. He's gonna kick it over to number one. The senior, the three is good. That number one, Chris Gray, the senior. Another right elbow three, excuse me, left elbow three. Kaiser cross court pass. Reynolds, he wants a 3 2, and he'll get it nothing but net. What a play there by Dish, Reynolds. Addition back and forth on three pointers right now. And if the Panthers had an answer for the defense, the Panthers would be back in this game. And they're going to call a. They call another foul on Tony. That's his third personal. The smallest man out there has got the most fouls. This makes no sense. <laughs> like, you know, it's usually the big guy that's got the most fouls, and it's. It's Tony tonight. He's got three personals, and that that's just crazy for me to see, and, and El Gas is going to check the ball in. He's going to inbound it to number two, Chris Golden. He thought about the three. He's going to drive. Floater, and good. What a beautiful shot for him by a floater right there. El Gas tried to come up behind Inslee and get that ball right there. Inslee was able to see that coming. And he's going to drive inside, going to dish it out to Tony. Tony inside, Baker. El Gas on him. And up and no good. Baker's got to convert those shots. I mean, yeah, you really want to convert down there. I mean, Tony was wide open in the corner. I thought Baker was going to dish it out back to him. I originally thought Tony was going to take the shot. And El Gas shot up and no good. And looks like Reynolds got hit in the eye. And Baker dishes inside. Reynolds, he wants another three. That one just off the mark. Rebound by Baker inside. Kidder up and 
and and Arkadelphia really wants to slow this game down up 70 to 49. Really tr just trying to slow this offense down, but Arkadelphia slowed their offense down. Another three, corner three, and good. And Arkadelphia shooting lights out at this point. It, this is crazy. I've never seen a team shoot this many threes in a game and make them. Another three by Reynolds on the other end, and good. Reynolds has really exploded in the second half with the three-point shot. Especially this fourth quarter. He's just trying to dish them back. Trying to keep the score as low as possible. Score differential. Most definitely, and Elgas trying to. Not sure what he's attempting to do there, but uh, gets it inside. Dishes it over, and we have got a traveling violation here on number zero. AJ Lambert, the senior, gets called there for the travel, and we got. Number 40, Zane Jeffers checking in, and number 44, Talon Cook checking in. And number 32, Evan Scott's going to check in. We'll see what he can do down low. Reynolds is going to drive, and they're going to call the foul there. It looks like they're going to call it on Talon, uh, excuse me, Jeffers there, number 40. Just checks in. They already He already dropped a foul. Got a foul. Definitely not what you want. Under two minutes left. Uh, Arkadelphia's wrapped this up. 73-52. Oh, yeah, most definitely. They're just trying to, to, to finish writing it out. Golden down there working on Scott in the right block. Yeah, they're going to kick it over to Stax. Stax looking to get the three over to Roberts. Lambert. Let's see, there he was. I think they called a travel. Yep, he walked. I don't think that was Lambert, though. I think that was Golden. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry about that, guys. I can't really see from where we are. Gonna Scott's going to bring it up the floor. He's going to kick it over to Reynolds. Deep three. No good. El, El Gas comes out of there with the rebound. And Golden on the other end, up and in, and and really, ah, uh, and my boy number fifty, Aaron Holland's going to check in. That's my man down there, and he is going to check in and we've got some confusion here, and it looks like a timeout has been called and we'll take another quick timeout here on the Manic Cove High School East YouTube page with a minute 13 left to go in this game. Badgers up big. Good. I need to go back. back to Panther Gymnasium. I'm not sure if you can hear us or not. I think we're having some technical difficulties here with the sound. Oh, and we are good. I just got the thumbs up from my boy Gavin Wallace. Running the thing over there. Number 20, Hunter Browning is going to check in. He's going to inbound it to Scott. Scott bringing it top of the key here. We got four. And the ball is stolen away from Scott. And Number two, Seth Golden, the senior, is just going to lay it in there. And Browning's going to bring it up the floor looking for something to go. And he's going to lose the handle. But uh, it's tipped there by the Badgers, and Panthers are going to retain possession here. And it's going to be Holland in the inbounds here. 
Browning going to try to drive and lays it in there. The sophomore getting some playing time and making points out of it here. Scott's getting set back here on the block, looking to drive his side. Kicks it back out, Golden. A lot of offense here still by the Badgers. Playing around with the ball a little bit more, not shooting as aggressive. And a block there by Scott. Number 12, Roberts. Another, another three, but it's missed. And That's Woods. One, it's one of the first threes he's missed all night. Yeah, and Browning there driving up the side, and he got fouled by Isaac Williams, the sophomore. And Scott gets it inbounds to Browning. And, and this one's going to be written off here at Panther Gymnasium. And another turnover. They're going to try to get points out of it. And that's going to be it from Panther Gymnasium. Um, a good one here tonight. But uh, Badgers come out victorious. What are your final thoughts on this game? Um, both uh, senior and both senior teams got to limit turnovers here in Magnet. Th there were a lot of turnovers both sides, uh, boys and girls. But um, Arkadelphia ran a fast-paced offense, and they kind of got through the Magnet defense. Um, I don't really know what you can do about that. you got to got have a better defense when they're running a, such a fast-paced offense. Yeah, and the pan, the, the Badgers are going to take the, the short trip down I-30 back home victorious, both senior girls and senior boys. It was a good, two good games, but uh, both Badger squads came out victorious. And so uh, we will be back live Thursday against Bismarck, um, a friendly foe from down Highway 84 just – over the mountain, not the mountain, that's big curvy road, but um, through the curves and over the hills, Bismarck will come here to Panther Gymnasium, and it ought to be a good one here at Panther Gymnasium. I'm not sure how Bismarck is, is, is looking this year. I think, Aiden, are you looking for that? I'm looking to see if Bismarck is as good as they are. Okay. Well, um, um, it was a good game here, but the size of school, I think, really showed a lot. Um, Badgers are, are in 4A7. And Magnus in 2A, I know it's only 1A that separates them necessarily, I guess you could say, but Arkadelphia is a, is a lot bigger school than... than no, um, they play their first game tonight against Poen. Bismarck does? Bismarck plays their first game that against Poen. That ought to be a good one there, but... Uh, They're going to Poen. Yeah, the, the Lions are going to roll in here in, uh, Thursday. So we've got a one-day break, and then we're going to have some more basketball for you here on the Matt Cove High School East YouTube page. And uh, just really my final thoughts on this one, Badgers come out victorious. Uh, high pace offense, Panthers got to limit turnovers in this game against Bismarck. And uh, I'm sophomore here at Matt Cove High School. I'm Dalton Reed, and I'm signing off. Sophomore, Aiden Keeling, signing off. If you're looking for a hidden gem while traveling down Arkansas Highway 51, then Panther Pass Grocery and Gas is your one-stop destination. The Panther Pass is more than just your typical local grocery and gas station. It is also has a full cafe menu with delicious mouth-watering food that will satisfy any type of appetite. The Panther Pass is also a proud supporter of the Manic Cove School District and a community partner with the Manic Cove High School East. The Panther Pass is located at 2214 Highway 51, Magnet Cove, Arkansas.